welcome to the Confessions of a Yarn Addict podcast. My name is Anakin and this is episode 27. And as you can see from that intro, I am back from Norway. I've been back for about 10 days actually. And I have the perfect seat on the plane coming back. I had a window seat. Uh, I actually had a row of three seats all to myself. So I chose to sit by the window. It was all the whole flight was just white fluffy clouds underneath us and then bright blue sky and sunshine and it was just absolutely beautiful flying back and I decided to film my descent into London Heathrow uh, which is quite interesting. So I have flown twice to Norway this year. Uh, I've flown with four different airlines. I flew from with Air France from London Heathrow to uh, Paris Charles de Gaulle to Oslo in June and then I flew back with Ryanair to Stansted, London Stansted in July and then in November, no, end of October, I flew to Norway from uh, London Gatwick with Norwegian and I was due to fly home with Norwegian but they cancelled my first flight, I rebooked and then they cancelled that one so I ended up flying back with Scandinavian Airlines and I must say um, out of those four airlines, Scandinavian Airlines and Ryanair are the ones I've been most impressed with. Ryanair, because of their hand luggage policy, their hand luggage policy is so much more relaxed now than it used to be. Um, and it is better than the other airlines that I've flown with recently. And Scandinavian Airlines, because the flight was only two thirds, well, less than two thirds full, and they had kept all the middle seats free. So the other planes, they had filled up the middle seats in a lot of rows. They had three strangers sitting next to each other with no space at all, no social distancing, um, which was not impressive at all. Uh, and Scandinavian Airlines, the only people who appeared to sit together were couples. So really nice flight back. Uh, good to be home. I've been home for about 10 days now. Fortunately, Norway is on the travel corridor list for England, so I didn't have to quarantine when I came home. But I got lots to share with you today. I got a new project on needles. I got some new yarn. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Simply Knitting arrived while I was away. Uh, so I don't know when this actually came out in the shops here in the UK. Um, it arrived while I was away for five weeks. So I don't know how long it's been sitting here for waiting for me. So it may still be in the shops. It may not. I'm not sure. So it's issue 205. Uh, and it's obviously the Christmas issue. Really nice Christmas cardigan with the zip. You don't see zips very often on um, hand knitted cardigans. So that's really nice. Um, I haven't actually looked at this uh, magazine properly yet, but uh, this is my design up here, which I'll show you in a minute. And then it came with this uh, extra little pattern booklet um, for seven winter woodland animals. So you've got these seven animals here, all very cute, really like them. It looks like a lot of fun. So if you fancy knitting those, that's one of the free gifts. And then it also came with a um, birchwood shawl pin. So I'm actually taking it out yet. I have quite a lot of short pins, so I may actually give this to somebody else because I do have a lot of short pins in my collection. So let's have a look at this magazine quickly. I haven't actually looked at it properly yet. It's got like a stitch pattern thing that you can knit on the back. I like that when they include stitch pattern, just like a square that you can knit because it's a good way of challenging yourself to learn new techniques and to try different things. So let's just have a quick look at what's in this issue. Um, Christmas stocking, that looks like fun. Um, really nice casual cardigan, really like that. That's very really pretty, really basic cardigan. There's a yarn review. There are some um, news pages, some techniques, um, a Christmas hat, Christmas kids hat. Some that's probably quick and easy to knit. Uh, and there is a uh, Nordic Twist Blanket, uh, oh that's a knit along blanket project, so you get one square per month presumably, um, no two squares per month, but I'm not sure what the squares actually are, but this month it looks like it's colour work. Um, a teapot, cosy, that's really nice, and then there are some book reviews and a gingerbread house. I must admit, I'm not very good at knitting novelty things. They look very cute, but I'm not very good at it. Uh, that's a nice sweater. I like that. That's by Jane Burns. It's got a dinosaur on it. That's really cute. I really like that. Some news. 
that's a really cute cardigan as well um from milamia oh there we go there's my pattern so that's my design this month um this is a uh, noro um noro tsubami i think it's called uh, yeah tsubami um i actually did a yarn review on this which is on my youtube channel so i did a yarn review of this yarn and you also in that yarn review i also show you how to i actually show you the full view of this shawl so i laid it out on my bed and uh, did like a sweep across the whole shawl and that's styled with the free shawl pin that was in the magazine this month so that's quite nice so that just takes just one skein uh, of Nori Zubame. I don't want to show you the whole pattern, but uh, so I'm just going to take it away while I check. It is uh, 200 grams, 600 meters of, uh, I think it's about DK weight yarn that would make it. Um, garter stitch is an asymmetrical shape, uh, knitted sideways. It's got garter stitch, it's got these, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got these um, dropped elongated cross stitches, which I really like doing. And I also did a, so as well as the yarn review on this, I also did a video showing you how I start the right, every right side row with a knit front, back and front. So slip on knit into the front, back and front. How I do these um, cross stitches. And I think there might be one more thing, but I can't remember. So I do have two videos actually on this show. Uh, so you can check that out on my YouTube channel. Uh, I will show you another little picture in the corner here without trying to show you the whole pattern so you can see beautiful colours. This is colourway, um, colour 2, Kamaishi, colour 2 and 5.5 millimetre needles. So it knits up really quickly. It also has a pico edging, which you can see on that picture. So it's a fairly quick, easy pattern to uh, knit. Uh, Noro is probably not the cheapest um yarn but you only need one ball and there are some amazing amazing colors and then we've got oh that's cute little um christmas sweater with baubles on it that's really cute um then we have oh there we go that's a better picture a uh, christmas sweater for uh, with baubles i guess that's unisex you can change the colors out we got really nice christmas card again with big snowflakes really like that um, it looks like it has beads on it as well. So that's some of the designs in this issue. So that's my design. Love the cover design as well. Really good fun. I didn't see who that was by actually. Um, does it say? Snowflake cardigan. Let's see who's designed the snowflake cardigan. So that is Joe Allport. Designed by Joe Allport. Really beautiful. Love that cardigan. Great fun. So that's issue 205 of Simply Knitting. Um, it may still be in the shops in the UK. I'm not sure because I don't know when this magazine arrived because I've been away for five weeks um, and it arrived after I left. So you may get in the shop still, you may not. But you can always go to the Simply Knitting website. If you just Google Simply Knitting, you'll find it. And um, you can buy a digital copy or you might be able to order a back copy.
So a couple of orders arrived while I was away. First up is Eden Cottage Yarns. So I saw uh, Victoria from Eden Cottage Yarns post this on her Facebook page, uh, sorry, on Twitter, and it was just really pretty. So I kind of impulse purchased it. So it's Eden Cottage Yarns. It is Nate B. Fourply Colourway Festive Fun. So it's her Christmas colourway. The yarn is 75% super fine, super fine merino, 20% nylon, 5% silver lurex. It's 400 meters per 100 grams. Um, I don't know whether to knit socks with this. The colorway is quite delicate, so I feel like the socks will get dirty very quickly. And the sending goes for hand warmers. I feel they'd be to get dirty. I don't know whether to knit a hat with it, but that won't take the whole skein. I don't know to knit a small shawl, but I don't really wear small shawls anymore. So I don't really know what to knit with it, really. Um, it has little, it's cream, but it has little bits of red and green in it. So I don't know where to find a um, coordinating yarn and it's, and use it for a shawl. So mix it with a coordinating yarn and then use it, use it for a shawl. But it has this silver thread all the way through, which I don't know where the camera is picking up, but... Beautiful, delicate colourway. I really, really like it. Really nice, soft yarn. Quite a uh, bouncy yarn. Um, so I want to do something with this, but I don't quite know what yet. So I need to think about that. And then they also included this little Christmas tree decoration. So there's a little hole in the top that you can thread some uh, yarn through or something. So I'm going to do that and then add that to our Christmas tree um, decorations box when we get our Christmas tree out. I cast on for a new design last night using the new Zaba Pearl Yarn, which I love. I've been looking, wanting to get my hands on this for ages. It has seven balls in a little circle. So it's fastened with elastic and you can just hook it off this label, take a ball off and then hook it back on again. It's really easy. So I've chosen to start with a pink one, which was there. So it has pink in one end, yellow at the other end, and then in between it has varying amounts. So on this one it has the pink plus one strand of the yellow. Here it has a uh, little bit more yellow, a little bit more yellow. So this is probably about 50 50. More yellow, less pink, less pink, and then yellow at the end. So you can knit them in that way order, or you can knit them in that order. It doesn't really matter which order you knit them in. Or you can mix them up if you want to. It doesn't really matter. You decide. But they are designed to be knitted in A order. So you can start with the yellow and then gradually go to pink, or you can start with the pink and gradually go to yellow. So which way you decide to do it depends on what you're knitting. If you are knitting shawls that start with a few stitches and gradually increase on every row or every other row or something like that, so the rows are getting gradually longer and longer, then the colour you start with will have the most impact. So if I start with the pink one like I have here, because the rows are fairly short, because I've started with just a few stitches down here and then I'm gradually increasing. So this row is obviously a much has more stitches than the row I started with down here. So um, I will be able to knit further with this pink ball than I will with the next ball. Because by the time I start the next ball, my rows are longer. By the time I get to the end, to the yellow one, my rows are I'm at the widest part of the shawl. So this shawl, I'm going to knit a certain width, and then I'm going to I'm going to knit till I've used up half the yarn, and then I'm going to start decreasing uh, back to the beginning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two of these two together. I'm going to go to, from pink through to yellow, and then on the second one, I'm going to go from yellow through to pink. So I will get quite a lot of the yellow in the middle because I'll get two yellow balls next to each other. But the other balls to start with, the pink one is what will have the most impact, which you'll see as I show you as I move through this shawl. But that's what you have to think about when you're using any kind of gradient set is which color do you want to have the most impact? 
Um, so if I, for example, um, if the pink gives me, say, about 10 centimeters, and the next color gives me about 8 centimeters, and then six centimeters, four centimeters, two centimeters. And then if I get down to the last one, I just get like two centimeters. There's like a thinner stripe, for example, uh, depending on the shape and and the increases and that kind of thing. You want to really consider which color you want to have the most impact. So if there's a color you don't like as much, you might want to leave that towards the end or you could take it out depending on the gradient you have. Um, I wanted the this to ha the pink to be have more of an impact at the than the yellow, so hopefully you'll see that as I move through this shawl. I'll show you regular updates. This yarn is gorgeous. I only have two colorways in the shop at the moment, but I will definitely be getting more in next year. Uh, so yeah, love this colorway. The other order that arrived while I was away is from Orchidean Luxury Yarns. So I had one of these skeins, I bought it earlier in the year and I knitted a pair of socks just before I went away to Norway um, in October and I really, really liked the colorway and I really fancied getting another one. So while I was away, I ordered this one because it's hand dyed, not every skein is not identical. So this is slightly different. It's also a different base, so different base yarns and will take color differently. And because it's hand dyed, it won't look exactly the same. So this is a pure merino four ply, but the colorway is let there be more light uh, and it's gorgeous. I love it. I think this was the exact same colorway I ordered last time, but it does come dye up slightly different on different base yarns and also hand dyed yarn. Every batch is going to be different. That's just the nature of hand dyed yarn. Uh, but I really like the yarn I did my socks in. Really, really like the colorway. And I decided I wanted to get some more. I don't know what to do with this yet. Um, I was actually thinking I might do a, a hat and a pair of hand warmers. Uh, but I haven't quite decided yet. So I've got a couple other things I need to be getting on with first. So I may put this to one side for a little bit and think about it. But I just love that colorway. Just love these bright um, sparks of color and it's just really pretty. So I decided to get another one. Then I also got some stitch markers. Really pretty stitch marker with beads on it. These are my favorite types of stitch markers. Stitch markers with little beads. These are little um, like diamond shaped beads or something, I think. They're not completely round. I don't know if that comes up on the camera or not. But really nice stitch markers. And then I also got this uh, bauble. So this is a key ring. So it's got a charm on it, um, some beads. A little tag that says made with love with a heart and then it's got tree of life there's a few different choices i can't remember what all the choices were now because i ordered this a few weeks ago while i was in norway for five weeks so i can't remember exactly what the options were but that's the tree of life charm it's got a heart shaped and then it's got this um bauble pom-pom that's the word i was looking for on the end so i don't think i'm going to use this as a key ring uh, because Simon and I share the keys to the main house keys and the keys to the car. So I probably won't use this as a key ring, but I might use it as a charm on one of my handbags. That one, by the way, is a stitch marker. So you could take that off and use it as a stitch marker. Or you could leave it on here for when you need an emergency stitch marker. But that is a stitch marker. So you can take that off. I guess you could use these others as stitch markers as well, but they're a bit bigger. But that's definitely could be taken off and used as a stitch marker. So I really like that. This is a bit of an impulse buy. I was just um, having a look around their website when I ordered the yarn and thought, oh, that looks like fun. So I ordered it and yeah, I like it. It's good fun. Probably put that on the bag because um, I don't like key rings that are too bulky for when I put the key in my pocket. And I know that this would annoy Simon if I put this on the keys because we do share the car. So we use the same car keys. And then a little tag of uh, stitch markers uh, and a little regular stitch marker here um these are i think these come free with every order i think i got that last time as well but these are really useful padlock stitch markers i use them a lot for all sorts of things and then a little this is a little freebie a little christmas bauble heart shaped one uh, with a little mini skein inside so you can hang this on your christmas tree um and then it comes with a little tag that says made with love, a little stitch marker tag. So you can use that as a stitch marker. Again, this tag here, 
padlock stitch markers you get some companies now clothing companies they use these little like padlock things to fasten the labels onto their clothes if you get those keep them and use them as stitch markers they're really really useful yeah i haven't taken this uh skein out this little mini skein i don't know how much it is but i haven't taken it out i'll probably just leave it in there i might hang that on the christmas tree actually or i might hang it up somewhere else as a decoration and then take it out after christmas so that was really good uh really enjoyed that i love this colorway I need to decide what I'm going to do with it. But I probably won't do anything with it till around Christmas time because I do have some other things planned I need to be getting on with. But gorgeous yarn. Do check out uh, Orchidean Luxury Yarns and I'll put the links below. making good progress on this shawl so I've actually knitted the first ball which is the pink one and then I've also knitted the second one um, so you can see the first one is that big and then the second one is a much shorter section I think that's actually the right side it's got to say so it's a little bit difficult to see which is the right side but that's the right side so you can see the second section I have fewer rows than I did for the first section and then I'm going to start knitting with this one now, which is the next ball in my gradient. Mm -hmm. Gradient. So each ball is approximately 14 grams. And because I want to make sure that uh, people who knit the pattern in this yarn don't run out of yarn, I actually am leaving about 1.5 grams of each ball left, approximately. I have to finish on a um, the end of a wrong side row. So the first one I managed to finish at the end of a full repeat. The second one, I did two full repeats and I've done half a third repeat. So two and a half repeats for that one. Um, this one, I did the setup section, which was to here. And then I did one, two, three, four full repeats. Um, and now I've done two and a half repeats. So you can see that it's getting, um, each section is getting shorter and the yarn is getting slightly lighter. So that's the next one. Then it'll be that one. So a little progress on my shawl. I am on ball number four now. So I've got three full balls left to go. And I'm keeping them on here just to make sure they stay in the right order. So I'm on ball number four. So we can see we go from pink, a little bit more yellow, a little bit more yellow, and a little bit more yellow. So I quite like, it's looking more kind of peachy at the moment, I think. But I really like how that gradient is working. Obviously, you can't really see the lace pattern yet because it hasn't been blocked. So the lace pattern isn't that visible, but hopefully that will look good when I block it. I am actually thinking about when I get to the yellow, actually changing the lace pattern a little bit for the yellow. Uh, but we'll see. I haven't quite decided yet. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this is knitting up. I'm quite enjoying knitting with it. I have been very busy since I came back. I've been home for 10 days now. I have spent a lot of that time filming uh, videos for my successful lace knitting course. I had decided, <clears throat> I decided to release the course early because I had so many videos ready to go before I left for Norway in, at the end of October. 
so I decided to release what I already had available which is I think it's like 16 18 videos um and then I decided to release that at less than half price so it's 20 US dollars or approximately 15 pounds the uh, platform I use for my course is priced in US dollars anyway I decided to release the course early and the plan was that I would film all the rest of the videos when I go home in December um, my daughters had to come home for Christmas early because uh, of you know, the rules in Wales regarding students leaving uh, for Christmas so they are, came home a couple of days ago so I have been working flat out to film as many videos as possible last week and this week because my husband now has to move back to working from the dining room table which is where I film all my videos he was working in my daughter's room but obviously she's home now so she needs her room so it's been quite busy I've been filming loads of videos for um, the successful lace knitting course um, so by the time I finish this course it's going to be a really bumpy course really mega course so if you want to get in now at half price hurry up next week I'm going to start uploading the new videos um, and once I start uploading the new videos I'm going to gradually increase the price I'm hoping to get them all up by Christmas doing the best I can but because of the fact that family situation changes all the time and everyone working from home maybe early January before I get it done but I will have lo loads of videos ready to go up in the next two weeks so if you want to get it at the cheapest price join now once I start uploading the new videos the price will gradually go up till we get to the full price when all the videos are available so I'll pop the link to that below and I hope you enjoyed this episode um, do leave me a comment and tell me um, what you enjoyed and tell me what you'd like to see from me in the future and I uh, will see you next time thank you very much for watching